Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Levitt again, and I'm really excited about our artist today. Our artist today is Georgia O'Keeffe. She's one of my favorites. I love her flower paintings. I wish I had a book I could share with you, but all my books are at school right now. There are a bunch of storybooks that you can find on the internet, and um, just Google Georgia O'Keeffe flowers. So today we're gonna be making a paper sculpture flower. If you do not have construction paper at home, like I have here, you can use newspaper. And um, I'm going to cut this up so it's gonna become petals. I also have, if you have this, great. If you don't, no problem. I have some watercolor paints and a paintbrush. And I found this really cool paintbrush on Amazon. Um, it is a water-filled paintbrush. You add water to it and you don't have to have a cup for dipping. You just squeeze it, the water comes out and you can paint with it. I'll show you that in a few minutes. I also am going to need a small piece of cardboard. This is gonna be where I'm gonna make my pattern for my petal. So I'm gonna show you what, we are, what they're going to be. So this is one I made, my paper sculpture. It, it is um, with green, yellow, and orange construction paper, and I put it on a black background. You do not have to have a background, but I like a background. So I did it on a black background. This one I made with newspaper, and I painted my newspaper. So it was just plain newspaper that's painted. This one is a different shape petal. It's a round petal, a rounded petal, and I put it on a white background. And then this one is just a plain newspaper flower. So today I'm gonna show you how to make these flowers. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a point at the top and the bottom, and I'm gonna make a curved line that goes out and back in. It goes out and back in. If you don't wanna make a point, you can always curve this. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out with my scissors. And this is my pattern. This is trash, I'm gonna move that to the side. Next, I'm gonna get a piece of paper and I'm gonna fold it multiple times. If I fold it um, four times, it's going to have eight petals. If I fold it three times, it's going to have six. I'm gonna put it down close to the edge so I don't waste paper. And I'm gonna draw or trace, excuse me, trace my pattern. And then I'm gonna cut that out. So I'm going to make a square. In order to make a square, I'm gonna gently press, not pressing too hard, folding my paper, and then I'm gonna cut this edge off. I'm saving this, age, this, this edge for later. This is my background. I'm gonna take my petals and I'm going to stack them up and fold that tip just like that. Now with my scraps um, from my other flowers, I'm going to cut some strips. 
And these are gonna be the center of my flower. There's lots of things you can do. You can experiment with these as well. So a couple of things I can do are, I can take this and I can roll this around the edge of my petals to make it pop out, make it more 3D. And then I can take these pieces and I can roll those around a pencil. Now you might want to make a leaf, so I'm going to just do this and I'm going to fold it. On the folded edge, I'm going to put a dot here and a dot here and I'm going to draw an arch. And that's going to be my leaf. And then I'm only going to glue one of those sides. So I'm going to put glue on this and I'm going to tuck it up underneath. So as a reminder, what I needed for this project was I needed paper. Again, it can, if you don't have construction paper, you can use newsprint, which I cut out. I used a piece of cardboard to make my pattern. You may use watercolor and a paintbrush, but you need paper, pencil, scissors, and glue, and an imagination. I hope you enjoyed making our fabulous Georgia O'Keeffe paper sculpture flower. Have a great day. Bye.